Hi all, welcome to Die.3D Tech YouTube channel. On this, I want to put a FPA setup so that I can see the live feed and uh, and I also want to place one uh, action camera so where I can record HD video somewhere like this. I will arrange the setup. So I'm just giving idea. So for this, I'm using uh, FPV system. So let's see uh, what and all I'm using in this FPV system. Okay, for this FPV setup, I'm using this camera. This is a 1000 TVL uh, 12 volts uh, camera. So I'm using this camera. So, go on. So I'm using this camera. So you can see this is a detachable cable. And you can see here this is a thousand TVL camera and it's a 12 volts power. Okay. So okay. So this will have a cap. So I'm using this camera. Okay. And uh, to transmit the video, I'm using this transmitter. This is 5.8G 48 channel audio video transmitter. You can see uh, back side you can see the information deleted and it's a 600 milliwatt means it's kind of like a little long range one. You can so these are the frequency and channels. Okay, so you can see the okay, so I'm using this. This is the one. There are some cables inside this. You can see. So this is the antenna. Okay. And um, so antenna will go like this. Okay. Then there will be a cable. So uh, it will go like this. And you can see there are two buttons here. You can see. One will be changing the channel, another one will be changing the frequency. Okay, so this I'm using. So here you can see there will be two cables. So see one for the power, okay, one for the power positive negative. So you can connect to LiPo or any power source available. So another cable will come for the camera. So so these three cables will be connected to camera like this so make sure you connect the same way so you can see yellow red black same way you can like this okay okay like this this is the, the transmitter okay and then uh, to receive the feed we need a video receiver So if you connect the battery here, then it is ready, and it is start. It will start transmitting the video signal. Then for the receiver, you can use this. One. Okay. So this will be good. Like if you have a screen, and there will be two cables here. So here also you can see the same two switches. One for changing channel, one for changing. You can see, and. Uh, this is also will have a okay yeah. and there will be cables here so this will be connected to audio video out so so other end you can connect to other end you can connect to uh, any screen or TV you can connect okay can connect. and there will be another cable uh, this is the power source so you can connect here so if you have a power supply you can connect or else uh, you can use a 3s loop lipo to use it outdoors okay like 
so this is the setup okay so like this uh, if i am using in house i'll use this one so i can connect the 12 volt power supply but if i am using outdoor i'll be using a uh, fpv goggles so i'll show you that so for outdoor i am using these goggles so that i don't need uh, this receiver here okay so instead of this i'm using this one so because i don't need to carry all the monitor and power supply and all simply i just carry this one so this is the e shine e shine vr006 so this is the one this is a very simple one portable one you can carry very easily so compact okay. so i'm using this in place of this receiver okay so i'll make a separate video for that like uh, how to use the receiver later okay so i'm using this so now we need to uh, connect all together here because here we need a power supply for this and car so in the car you can see uh, you have esc so esc uh, 12 volts you can see here so and the same thing we'll share uh, this one okay so we need to power up this transmitter so this transmitter will power up this camera so we need a power source for both so uh, to use the same lipo battery for both so i'm using this power distribution board so that uh, with one lipo i can power up uh, this one and i will power up um, uh, transmitter as well okay so you can see here, this is on. So this is Matic. So advantage is like if you are using a different camera than this. So actually this camera is uh, 12 volts one. Okay. So this camera is 12 volts one. Uh, so you can see here. This camera is 12 volts one so 12 volts one no problem you can connect slice the wires and you can connect but sometimes what will happen you will be using a different uh, camera where you need a different power supply maybe 5 volts or something like that then you can use this power supply means this power distribution book from here you can get see 5 volts so you can use this that is another advantage so I will use this one so with the same lipo I will power up transmitter and power up the ESC both okay so it's very simple just I need to solder uh, this I need to solder this one this way just shoulder this one so that it will be ready so uh, one I will connect to uh, one I will connect to uh, ESC another one I will connect to so uh, to power the transmitter I am using this JST connection so, okay so what I will do I will solder this one and I will be back and I will show you how I connect it So I solder this one so you can see here uh, one side is going to ESC directly and another side is this uh, uh, this connector is for uh, this one so you can see here this have a JST connector so uh, it will power up this transmitter so transmitter will power up the uh, camera now if I power this one so it will power this and as well as uh, the transmitter as well okay so, so now uh, I want to set up the camera on the canopy. So, so here what I did, I added some this velcro. So, uh, so now I can place the. So 
the left. So this is how this action camera will be mounted. So sideways, uh, I will I will place the FPV camera here. Okay, so I will use little glue and uh, zip tie, and I will attach this one. Okay, so I will do this one, and I will attach. So uh, now I place the camera here. So FPV camera also placed uh, with the help of uh, zip tie. So you can see here that I made a small hole to access these cables. So, so the finally the look will be like this. So it will be like this. So I'll give the final connections and I'll show you the um, feed in FPV goggles and we'll do a test run. So I have connected everything here connections and all uh, it's ready just we need to plug in the uh, battery and let's see uh, is it giving feed or not once I connected yes, I have connected this so it's powering up this uh, transmitter as well so and, and let's see uh, is it giving video feed or not so, uh, let's Switch on this. because I forgot to take out the you can see it's giving the feed so uh, now it is ready so we'll just go out and take a ride and I'll post the video of the drive so you can see here my hand can be seen okay so I'll go out for a ride and I'll post the video <laughs> 